Hey Legacy Traders, it's Tim Key with Option Legacy, helping you build a legacy through trading. Hey, in this short video, I want to show you how to make watch lists, both inside Tastyworks and a free platform that's a web-based software called TradingView. So let's hop over into um, Tastyworks first, and then we'll get into TradingView and empower you guys to make a watch list. So inside of Tastyworks, you'll see here there are a few different icons. If you click this icon that looks kind of like a notepad, it brings you to your watch list here. You can go to different different ones. And yeah, sometimes the words will pop out there and just watch us. Boom, right there. Um, inside here, you need to do one thing to get a list started. So you'll see all these ones are populated by Tastyworks. These bottom three are trade list that I our watch list that I have created to create a watch list you need to come over to this symbol or any symbol on the trading platform and it will take you to this screen here under this under the modules you need to click watch list and come here to list and then we're going to create a new list so you're gonna hit add new list type in Dow 31 I've got Dow 30 already so I'm just tweaking a little bit and then you can hit type in a ticker like cat and hit add to Dow 31 it's then gonna say Dow 31 watch list created now you could begin to add more tickers here oh it's already already in the ticker uh, let's do I know Mo's not in it but yeah just you can begin adding um, different tickers. That's not a Dow 30 ticker, but just for example, you can add them all here. Or, in my opinion, it's easier to simply come back to watch list by clicking here and then coming down to your drop down menu, clicking there, and then just adding symbol here. Uh, Goog. So you can create your list here. Now you can do two, one of two things to find the Dow 30 tickers. Now, as of April, um, these are the Dow 30 tickers, so let's do a little bit alphabetical. So you can pause the screen here and just record them all and type them in. Nike is the bottom one. Let's go up a little bit. So you could pause the screen here and type in from Pfizer down to ExxonMobil and type them in here. If not, just Google Dow 30. And you're going to see here Dow 30. Basically, any of these tickers or any of these excuse me URLs is going to show you a list of the Dow 30 companies and you can use that list all right so that's how we do it inside of Tastyworks create your Dow 30 account doing it in that manner and now if you do want to delete a list just come back here to watch list select the list that you want to delete like this test one and hit delete selected list now it's forever gone as a test over inside of TradingView, TradingView is a third-party software that I'll provide you the link in the notes or the area around. It's free, absolutely free to use. Now there are limited features whenever you're using TradingView in the free version, and there are a lot of great features as far as tools and resources to use inside of the paid one. I believe it's 15 bucks a month. Um, it's absolutely worth it in my opinion if you ask me it's very user-friendly very intuitive and it's a web-based platform so you don't have to download anything if you're in trading view to, to create a list you're gonna have to first come into well let's just go to tradingview.com once you create your account from the link that I provide you'll it'll populate with something like this you'll come over to charts it then opens up its web-based platform and it should automatically pop out this little screen, but let's say it's not popped out. Just come up here to this magnifying glass and a list. It says watch list. Here you will notice that it'll automatically be populated with fulfilled tickers that they've chosen. I'm not sure how they chose it. All you need to do is hit right click and then clear symbols. I'll ask, do you really want to clear all symbols? Yes. And you can start typing in your tickers. Now, mind you, under the free version, it's only going to allow you one watch list. If you try to create new list, it'll say, hey, you can't do this unless you start your free 30-day trial or upgrade for 15 bucks a month, 
which again, in my opinion, it's absolutely worth it. So guys, that is the step-by-step -step process on how to create a watch list, both inside Tastyworks and the free charting platform called tradingview.com. Um, if you have any questions, reach out to me directly on Facebook, post inside the Legacy Trading Group, and I will engage with you there. All right, guys, let's build.